Does the no. bell, bell not work or what? I've been ringing that thing like five times. That's fine, but you're busy. I guess it's working. But, I, I, but again, so I, don't, I don't have to. Yeah, well, you, do you read and write, sir? Uh, can you? Uh, uh, the uh, onus for HIPAA is on you guys to, to keep that stuff private. That's so. unfortunately not correct. But it is correct. It's I, correct. I would ask that you take it outside. Otherwise, we're going to have to call that officer back and trespass you. Because I can go. They can ask you to leave the building. They can ask, they have you, and I can refuse. you are compelled to leave, and if you don't leave, then I'm going to have no choice but to arrest you. What's going on, Bay Fam? It's your boy, Bay Area Transparency. We're back at it once again, and for this video, we're in the state of Nevada. We went ahead and went to a parole office in the state of Nevada and had some interactions with the parole agents there. They weren't too bad, but after being there a while, they decided to call the Capitol Police on me and have me trespass from the property. They really think in Nevada that they can just trespass you from any public property they want to, any public service office, lobby that they want to. It's ridiculous. Follow us on Facebook, Bay Area Transparency Official. Follow us on Instagram, at Bay Area Transparency. Subscribe, like, share. Let's get to it. Run them subscribers up, baby. B-A-T, and I'm out. Let's check it out. Come in and see if you don't come in. Oh. Well, this is nice. It's not bad office. Not bad looking on. Got books and stuff. How's it going, man? How y'all doing? Uh, good. Are you looking for somebody in particular? No. No. I'm good. I'll let you guys know when I need help. I'm good for now, though. Um, you're Trash. here for, like, you're not here for youth or family or you're not related to anybody? Related to anybody? I don't answer those questions. Like I said, I'm good for now. I'll let you guys know when I need help. Appreciate it. Um, if you're not here, like, for business purposes, we would probably ask that you go, sir. Well, I am here for business purposes, so. Okay, um, so, I mean, if you want to expand on that, I'm just uh, curious who, who you're here to see, or if you have a youth that's on parole with us, or what, what the nature of the visit is, I guess. Yeah, like I said, for now, I'm good. I'm going to get some of this information here. I'll let you guys know when I need more help, but for now, I'm good, so I appreciate it. Okay. Awesome. So there, there you go. If if you're not here for X Y Z, you need to go. Like freaking, are you kidding me? This is a public office. It's a straight up public office. And uh, you know what? They're gonna they want to kick me out because I'm in here with a camera. Like, what's the issue? So let's get this. Well, these are magnets. That's cool, but we don't need that. We need this. Prescription for disaster. Let's get one in English and one in Spanish. Okay, let's ring it to be able again. No service? Interesting. That's extremely interesting. So I ring the bell for service. I ring the bell twice and I get no service. Maybe the bell doesn't work. I don't know. Maybe it's glitchy. I'm not sure. I'm just trying to get some, some assistance here. Maybe the bell doesn't work. Let me see. I don't know, man. I keep ringing the bell. Nobody's helping me, so... Trying to get a little help. Well, they are straight up refusing to do their job. The bell don't work or something. I don't know. Or maybe, I'm not sure. Maybe I can knock here. Like, ring the bell for service. I ring the bell like five times already. And I get no service. So, what I'm assuming is, now that I've knocked on the window and I've knocked on the door that they're just literally refusing to do their jobs. Um, and I don't understand why. I told them I'd let them know when I need help. I now need help and they're refusing to do their jobs. Awesome, state employees, great job. 
I mean, that's all I can think of that makes sense so that I can show who's refusing to give me service. There we go, finally. Does the no. bell, bell not work or what? I've been ringing that thing like five times. That's fine, but your business is just working in the back, so what can we do? Oh, uh, there's no, nobody mans the uh, the window, is that what it is? Correct, uh, yeah. We're here to answer your question. Gotcha. Um, yeah, so, well, I had I had two. I was going to ask if, is that trash? I was going to toss that little bottle there for you guys. Looks like somebody left their trash there. And then, uh, what was your name? My name is Nate. Nate, cool. I see you on I'm there. Chris. Chris? Yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, I need to, to get some public records. And then I see there's a grievance form up there, but is there? do you guys have citizens complaints form, or do you guys use them as one and the same? Uh, we actually can't release records because we are a youth agency, and youth yeah. records, youth rights are all... Well, that's why I said like pu public, records. keyword was public records, yeah. Okay. Um, uh, I don't know that most of our records, if any, are really it, Yeah, you guys got a ton of them, yeah. Do you know what records you'd be looking for specifically? Because I've never had to do a public records release, release before, so I don't know what I would even be looking for. Yeah, so you guys should have a form. It could just be a state form. I mean, you guys talk to your boss or something. But uh, one of them's gonna be um, uh, all the paid for cell phones that are issued to uh, some of the parole officers here, parole agents. Um, part of it's gonna be the budget. And then another one's gonna be the uh, cost of this building for this office. And then another one is gonna be all every employee's name that works here, first, last salaries, work days, work hours, um, and some other stuff. So these are public records. Yeah, I think uh, most yeah. of that's available on Transparent to that. No, yeah, and I understand that, but I, I like to come in and get a, get a, do a hard copy. I don't do the online thing. I just get a copy of the request, I send it in, you guys have five days to answer it, I come pick up the records in five days. So, yes, yeah, so I need a, a records request. So as far as, I, I agree with you, as far as youth offender records are, are confidential unless I have a subpoena for them, um, but I'm not looking for any youth records. That's why I said public you're, records. You're looking for state records Correct. as far as fiscals and, and things like that? Like yeah, yeah. Well, like I said, cell phones that are, that are issued or paid for, I'm going to get those cell phone bills. I also want the cell phone numbers and then emails that are issued for this office. I'm going to get those email addresses and, yeah, a bunch of stuff like that. So these are all state records, public records. Sure. Some people call them open records. I mean, right. it just, yeah, and there's then, a million different what, things. What do you do with it? Uh, what's, what's the purpose of obtaining that information? Oh, I don't, have? I don't, uh, yeah, I don't divulge that information. Okay. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to, I don't know how to do that. I can take your info. Yeah. And I can give it to my chief when, when he's back so in the office. We're, we're both youth parole officers. Mm -hmm. And so we generally don't do stuff that's like uh, management or administrative. Our manager's out of the office. Do you have an email or a business card that we could send information to or? No, no. I mean, I'm here now. I would urge you to call them because the law says I can come here and do it. And, okay. you sure. know, so I'll call them and see. Yeah, where those call them, figure it out. And, and we'll give you a form to fill out. And sometimes there is not a form. Sometimes it's just, hey, you can give a give it. A, so did you bring give like it, a typed up copy for? for no, no, no. I'm going to give it orally and then uh, and then uh, I'll have the record myself and let you guys send it up the chain. So. Let me make a couple of phone calls. Cool. Oh, maybe they got it now. Perfect. Right. Uh, so we reached out uh, to our public information officer. And okay. so she directed us to the website for the public records request forms. And, and then this is also online. instructions to do the submissions online. Um, the form is still available on the website. She told me by phone yeah. that they have to be submitted online because they do that for tracking all of the requests and to determine what can be released and what can't. Um, but since the paper one's still available, fill that out and we can submit that to them. And if it's an approved record, then we can release it at that point. Okay. okay. Yeah, I just want to give it orally. I don't want to write it. I got, I'm holding my stuff, no, so I'm not going to write it. a custodian of those records. I just talked to the state attorney as well. I can't. No, nobody here is equipped to, to offer you those records. I don't have access to those. those no, I, yeah, I understand that. So I, I know very well the way it works. Nevada Public Records Act, I, I get, submit the, the request orally or written, and then they have five days to respond, and I come back looking for it, so pick it up, or something like that. you're telling us Correct. we've got five days from, from right this morning. Yeah, and there's a... To, 
Yeah, you to send it up the chain. Up for you. Yeah, you send it up the chain. They right. they do whatever they I do. I call our public public information officer. Yeah, I, I just I, well, I, I, we're not equipped to do that for you. To it's do not in my job description. To do what? So I the don't attorney told me my do. job description doesn't doesn't uh, does not list in, in any form or facet that that I need to provide records. I'm not obligated. So to, I think to what get that up the ladder is that you would need up to call the and maybe she can take mechanism. it by orally. But so yeah, you can't I'll leave take this here for you. In our well, somebody here has to. I mean, you guys are paid to do public records. I'm not saying you're paid to go get no. the. I'm no, not saying I'm you're not, paid to I, get I'm the records and, and records find those records. Any I'm not saying you are, but you guys are so paid to do, the, to do the forms. To, if you, right. You, you, you're absolutely right. And the correct way record. is for me to do it orally to as well. To fill this out and I would submit happy, it online. Because I don't think that it's Right, and I don't have to do it online. But that's can. also not the way the law works. So, so that's why it says orally or written. So I just give it we, to you guys we, orally. You guys can send it up the chain. Or we can have Ruth do it, who's paid to do it, who's refusing to come out here because of a camera i'm assuming so this is not here right now oh uh, well somebody should be working the window that this is really the person that's paid to take the records request so well, um, they don't they're administrative assistance for youth parole so they handle our file keeping it's it's different. right part part of it is, is records do, man we I mean. did figure out the proper <laughs> mechanism right and, it's, and i know the law it's like written or oral so i'm trying to give it or orally yeah write down the phone number for the pio and I think if you orally you request orally her, give it to the PIO, you can probably for Yeah, I can do it at any state office. I can request records for this office right. at Just another like state office. Right. Same thing. You, you got it. You, but they gave you a form, and you took the form at Jan Evans for juvenile services. So this is our form. That's the proper mechanism here. Who gave me a form at Jan Evans? Jan Evans. No, nobody did. I just I, talked I, to the attorney. Did. That's that's so, fine. I never. I didn't even ask for records I'm, there, I'm, and I'm didn't not get a form. So. I gave you the form. I'm not yeah, asking you to argue with me. I'm asking you guys to take my public records request. I, I, we, we, we well, then send somebody send that. somebody who's equipped to do it. We can't take the request, but I'd be happy to write down the phone number for the PIO. So that well, that's what I'm saying. You get, this office doesn't have a choice but to take the request. It's a it's a law. If you guys are going to well, violate the Nevada Public the Records PIO. Act, then... I know. I let, me, let me get her phone number. I know, I know. Yeah, I'll just violate it. I don't care because I, I shouldn't have this job. I'm, I'm trash and I shouldn't work here. That's crazy. They have the form. Freaking take the oral request and send it up the chain. I'll be back in five days to get it. Do your job. This is trash, man. This is, this is, this is exactly what I'm talking about. These people are paid for this. They, whether they're a parole officer or not, I don't care what the attorney says, a state attorney, it doesn't matter. Somebody here, we can, we can ask for records here. It's a freaking law. <laughs> I mean, straight up. It's a law. They have the paper. It's a law. Take it, written or orally. That's the whole point of the law saying written or orally. I was there, but I never got a form there. I never asked for public records there. Hey, again, so yeah, I need to do, you guys to do your job, man. I'm going to give it orally. You guys can send it up the chain. I'll be back in five days. You guys can either do it or refuse. Pick one. So kind of as he was explaining, we can't take those. It has to go to the custodian of records, not every... The onus is on you to get it to the custodian of records. Right. The onus would be on this office to get it to the custodian of records. So That's the way the actual law works. I think that the other challenging thing, and if you want to help out with that, is right now specifically the lecker, what you're looking for so that I can pass that on to her. Yeah, no, I, I, I'm, I'm going to verbally tell you guys. You guys can specifically write it down and then pass it up. That's the way it works. That's why there's a reason, and let me explain this to you. There's a reason the law says written or verbally or orally, actually. Um, it's because there's people that don't read and write. There's people that can't fill out forms. It stresses them out to the point where they can't do it. I actually know somebody of that nature. There's illiterate people. There's people that don't have arms. There's blind people. This is why we can come here and do it orally, right? That's the whole point of it. Um, and any state office, I'm coming to this office for these records. It, the onus is on you guys to send it up the chain. That's the way it works. So I think the best that I can do for you today is provide all this information, including the number for the public information's officer, so that you can call and request the records for her orally by phone. Yeah, I'm not going to call. I'm here to do it now. And 
I need you guys to take the, the public records request. I don't understand why you guys think you can't do it. Because we don't have access to the records that you're looking for? Right, but you have access to a pin and you have access to that paper and you have access to the custodian of records and you have access to send that to the custodian of records. So it's a matter of us just filling the form out for you and then sending it off on, on your behalf? Correct. Yeah, that's the way the law, that's what the law says. That's the way it works. Um, I'm not familiar with the law in particular, that particular law, I guess I should say. Um, everything that we've been told was all of the information that I provided to you. So I'm going to just stick to that and offer you the information that we've been able to get. And hopefully that that's acceptable and that you can just be on your way with what we've given you. It's, yeah, it's not acceptable. But if, if that's the choice you're going to make, make the choice. And then we'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and just move on from there. It'd be real easy for me. This is, this is a simple one. I know this law like the back of my hand. So, and I understand you guys might not, but part of it is education for you guys to learn this law. And somebody should be here that does public records requests. And if that person's not here, Ruth apparently is not here, and you guys are helping me, then unlike what Chris said, yes, you are paid to do that at this point. As a matter of fact, our tax dollars pay you to do that and, and provide the proper customer service. So you guys are not just parole officers. Let's, you have many different, you know, you know, many different the, hats. The I included it on the sticky note. Let's, let's just so call her and see all of the information. Do you want, if I call her, will you speak to her? Because I, I'm not the requester. I mean, if, that, you, I mean, if you need the can, records, I would like that you did it. I, I'd be glad to help you. Do that as well, yeah. Do it orally over the phone with her right now. No, not at all. Okay. No. I'm going to anonymously request the records and do what I do with them um, again. So, I know it is. <laughs> and it's also my right to give it verbally. And it's your guys' job to take it at this office. Whether it's yours or not, send, like I said, send somebody out whose job it is to take it. It's, it's real simple. Instead of... For some reason, maybe the ego is playing a little part of it no, and uh, no doesn't ego make ego. no sense. No, no, I, for my side, I, I, there's no ego. I don't know. I, I it don't, seemed I a little different earlier yeah, when, when you walked back I don't, in. I don't, I don't, I, I'm sure he agrees. I don't have to address it. And I know, I know that you're, you're doing what, what you do and, and what, what your job is. Uh, this, this is it. There's, there's no ego. I am fully in support of helping you and transparency and, and things like that. The fact is that nobody that is here currently is equipped to to do that. I've given you the form to do that, which I feel like is pretty reasonable. Well, again, it's, if, it's, if, it's if not about... to do it a different way, then, then by all means, um, our office is open Monday to Friday to 5. I, I mean, you're more than welcome to, to, to come back, I, but I, I have helped you. In, 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 I've done what I could do to provide you the, the form. I went, found this form and printed it. I, I don't know. I don't. I'm not sure what else I can do for you at the at the given moment. I get it. Do you, Do you have a pen? I do. And we got the paper there. Yeah. Oh, so I'll just tell you, and you can write it down. And that's what you I'm can do to help me. Write the form. I'm not the requester. It doesn't matter. The law says written or oral. <laughs> That's why it says oral. And I explained that to him a second ago. What I, what I was telling Nate here is that there's a reason it says written or oral. There are people that can't fill out those forms. There are people who are illiterate, blind, don't have arms, don't have hands. 
X, Y, Z. That's why they come here to to do this. So sure. so you guys are very, very equipped. I disagree with you. You're are very you, equipped. You You're very equipped to to t- listen to what I'm saying and write it down and send it up to the person you're speaking to. You are very equipped to do that. I, 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 so I, and I know that, mm-hmm. but I know that you are as well. And you're, you can no, no, you assume I am. But I, I but again, I don't, I, I don't have to. You well, you, do you read and write, sir? Uh, can you? Apparently not. That's why I'm asking you guys to, to do it for me, correct? So real quick, another question yeah. that I have for you is the form there uh, requires potentially a fee. You're comfortable paying the fee? There, there's a fee if there are costs to the state for getting their records and employee time does not count. So these records are gonna be, uh, uh, I'm gonna supply a flash drive, they're gonna go on a flash drive and there will be no fee for that. Okay. Yeah, I've um, done this hundreds of times right here in this state. So I, I know exactly, I know everything about the law. I can almost quote it to you verbatim, so. Okay. Uh, That's why I know you guys have to take it verbally. On this form is request or contact information which you, you aren't comfortable with. Yeah, that's not going to go on there. It can be anonymous. So, again, you're, you're very familiar with the law. We're not. Everything that we've been told from our public information officer is not necessarily um, what you're telling us. So, just from my like comfort level, I, I'm not prepared to go against what they've been telling me and fill this information out in a way that really the form isn't designed to even be filled out. Uh, at this point, I think all we can do is provide you what we've already provided you, and the, I suppose uh, reach out to supervisors, maybe our chief when he's back in the office, to try and get some additional information. Um, if you want to come back, we can probably try and work that stuff out. Well, I mean, there's no reason for me to come back. Like I said, you guys can make a choice, and then we'll we'll live with the choice, and we'll move on from there. You have to it's, return it within five days to receive the request anyways, correct? You're right, but I don't have to return to give the request. Okay. You guys are supposed to be able to take that request. There are people here. It's a simple request. It, 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 like I said, this is more of an ego thing. You guys just don't want to write it down. Uh, and I'm literally, I'm, you, I'm literally I'm going to force you to write it down. So laws on your word that the law is what you say it is. It's not well, then, not then, then what you should do is get some clarification. Decision. You should you get clarification. Yeah, you guys should call and say, hey, he says the law says it says orally or written. He wants to give it orally. And uh, and then they'll tell you if they're if they know the law, they'll tell you, yeah, it does say orally. He can give Is it that orally. A so. state law or a federal yeah, law? Yeah, look, you can look it up. Ne- Nevada Public Records Act. It's a state. It's a state law. Every as a matter of fact, every state has them for federal. It's called the Freedom of Information Act for New York. It's called the FOIL Act. Do you know what the NRS is for it? Uh, the, the Nevada, I do know the NRS. It is. Uh, uh, no, I, I don't want to give you the wrong code. I'm drawing a, I'm drawing a blank. But it's, it's the Nevada Public Records Act. Okay. And some people call it the Nevada Public Information Act. So what I'm going to do is try and continue to get a hold of our public information officer one more time, see what the process is for somebody who is trying to do an anonymous request and how she can provide that information to me. Because again, our, she's our custodian of records. She mm-hmm. doesn't work in this office. She works in Carson Yeah, I City. understand it. So uh, as to the logistics of trying to put it on flash drive for you as well, uh, I'm not sure about that because we have a lot of... Uh, basically IT policy with regards to what we can plug in the computers and things. So again, a, a lot of stuff. I, I like, get it. They'll do that. Or I can, I can provide, I, I can make an email and provide one. There, there's many ways to give okay. it digitally. I was just referring to, to the fees. So the, the fees are irrelevant. Some way to work with it um, because this does say on here that they'll provide an estimate for the production. Uh, oh, and then it says the expected cost is over $25 then you would be required to pay prior to receipt of the records. Right. So let me call her again, try and get information on an anonymous request um, and how to do that orally, because I imagine that that would probably need to be done again by phone, um, but considering that you don't want to call, perhaps that's something where she can take that request by phone with me, with you here. Yeah, I mean, just as long as it gets done. So, 
I haven't been able to get a response from our public information officer yet. I did have a chance to look up the law and give it some reading, and I think um, that I have an answer, but it's probably not going to still be a very satisfying answer to you. Um, basically, if we don't have legal custody or control of the public book or record, then we have to provide to you in writing notice the fact that, the, that we do not have legal custody or control of the record and the name and address of the governmental entity that has legal custody or control of the record if known. I believe that those records would be kept at the DCFS central office in Carson City because youth parole is a division of Department of Child and Family Services and we don't keep financial records and stuff at this location in the building. That's all done through our higher level agencies. Yeah, you're reading that. You're, you're misinterpreting what that means, but that's okay. It means that if I ask for a record and, and the state does not have that record, then you guys have to provide us that, hey, we don't have that record. It doesn't mean that just since you don't carry it here that you guys don't have it. That's not what that means, but that's okay. Go ahead. I just need you guys to make a choice. This should have been a five minute five minute interaction and I could have been gone. Um, but I'll take the uh, phone numbers you were going to give and all that stuff and let you make your choice and then we'll just go from there. I'll still provide you the sticky note. I just wrote it myself that we don't maintain those financial records here and gave you the address for the DCFS office in Carson City. Right. Okay, perfect. So this they have it misconstrued, right? Somebody doesn't have to go to Carson City or do it online or call to get these records. And so he found what he thinks is his loophole in there. Um, oh, cool. Capitol Police is here. Um, he, found what he, he found what he thinks is a loophole, right, um, for those records. But it's really not. It's really not a loophole for those records. It's a, uh, it's a, uh, just a misinterpretation of, of what that law says, right? So, cool. So there's that information. And to your point, um, if you can find somebody who is able to help you out with that, you can still do the request online or do some other stuff to avoid that drive to Carson City. Um, but I think there's just kind of competing interests of whether you want to make that orally at the location where the records are available. Oh, no, no, I, I know how to I know how to handle it. I'll do it here. And, and we'll, okay. we'll, like I said, I will force you guys to do it here the right way. Okay. Um, but it'll just go through a different type of process now to do it. And it'll be who knows three months from now. Who knows? So, be it. Um, that so was that's my fine. best interpretation of it. I'm sorry we couldn't. You know, work things out the way that you were hoping that they would. No, that's um, fine. That was the best that I could provide and, and my and, best interpretation. And, of and it, it, so. it's a good thing because this is exactly why they should have somebody who knows this and is equipped to do this right there at that window. Sure. <laughs> so we will, uh, like I said, we will force the the uh, it to be done the right way. It'll just take me time now, so that's fine. Right. All good. Cool. You have a good rest of your day, sir. Have a good weekend. All right. Likewise, you too. This will be. This is, uh, let's take a picture of it. Come all this way, So this is a call to the police from these these clowns, and not knowing the not knowing the law, that doesn't make any sense to me. That doesn't mean for state records. These are state records for this office. The onus is on them to get that record and sent up and write it down and send it up. Um, I was just hoping that you could finish the recording outside. We do have kids that come in here and things, and there are restrictions on recording the youths and all that. So uh, I understand you're doing, you know, finishing There's up whatever you What restrictions on recording you? Uh, that's HIPAA stuff. There's Health Information Protection Act regarding like privacy of juveniles and things. Yeah, for medical records. Ju juveniles uh, it extends to a lot. That's a very umbrella law. Mm -hmm. uh, but again, I would just ask that you finish recording outside and all that since we've uh, done our best to honor that request. So. Yeah, so I'll, I got some time in here. Um, there's some more stuff that I need to grab up in here. Um, but when I'm done, I'll go ahead and leave. So I need content for my story and part of that is... Uh, well, whatever. I don't need to explain it. Um, but I don't. I don't. HIPAA. I can't violate HIPAA. I'm not trained in HIPAA. Well, no. The onus for HIPAA is on you guys to to keep that stuff private. That's so. unfortunately not correct. But it is correct. It's I, correct. I would ask that you take it outside. Otherwise, we're going to have to call that officer back and trespass you. Well, it's a public office, right? 
It is public, but yeah. we're asking you to leave. I understand. You can't trespass me from a public office. I'm allowed to come here and... and, and I asked you to leave. No, you can't. It's the First Amendment, man. I told you I'm gathering content for a story. I can be in here and gather content from the time you guys open to the time you guys close. Okay. Uh, you guys don't get to just trespass somebody from a public office because you don't want them in here recording. This is my First Amendment right. And you've literally just said it's because I'm recording. So. In part because of your recording, but we've finished your... Uh, well, done our best to finish the request. And so we're just asking you to take whatever you've got to do outside. Yeah, but I have more more business to do in here. But and part of it involves in my other people that are coming in. So, again, I'm, I'm just asking you politely. Really. Uh, I get what you're saying, but how would I be disrupt? My camera can't be a disruption. Okay. Right. Um, so this is the way the law works. And I can give you that law if you want. You can look up Glick or you can look up Smith versus Cummings. Come back and ask for you to trespass because we've asked you to leave multiple times. Well, that's all good, and then he can do it, and we'll just open up more to a, a, a lawsuit. It doesn't make sense, but just, go ahead. Just, just, just finish, finish up the court. I, 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 or if you could keep it brief, that would be tremendous. It's, not, it's a non-issue. No, there's, so, not a, there's not a limitation a on my rights, buddy. Okay. No, it's a non-issue. So record, uh, record what you must, and, and I'm not going to give you anything. Okay, that's yeah. more like it. I appreciate it. Thank you. That's. Just, I don't understand the issue there, man. Like, these, this dude is so, they're so ignorant of people's rights out here. And Chris just said we were good. Let me go out and see what that guy's doing. I'm curious now. Let's go. Let's go see what he's doing. He's back, but why? Well, I still need to get some of that. But let me go get this combo. I want to get this combo. Let's see what he's doing. There we go. Oh, that's white. How's it going? Good, how about you? Good, good. I'm Sergeant Barbier, State Police. Awesome. So what do we got going on today? Hanging out. Well, how about you, man? Uh, what is it? Uh, Sergeant Barbieri. Barbieri. Okay, yes. cool. Awesome. Do you got a number? Uh, Charles 4113. Cool. C4113. Awesome. So awesome. these awesome. Uh, gentlemen have told me that they've asked you to leave uh, a couple times and you're refusing to leave. Is that correct? Well, I, I don't answer those questions. We had a conversation, and the other parole officer said, hey, man, go ahead, film what you need to film, and then uh, you're good. Okay. So. so they're letting me know now that they would like you to leave? Okay. It's public, right? So, so there's limitations to that. What limitations? So if you look into, like, traditional public forum and things like that. So there, there has to be a law. Outside, yeah. Well, 207 200, they are responsible for the building. They can 100% request that you trespass from the building. Not true. Not from a public place and not for because of my First Amendment, right? If you look up the Glick case and all these, the courts have ruled that we can record public officials conducting their public duties from any public spaces. It doesn't say forums or anything. Now, if there was a. Court case. And I'm going to argue with you. I know. The case is I can go. They can ask you to leave the building. They can Which ask, they you, and I can and refuse. you are compelled to leave, and if you don't leave, then I'm going to have no choice but to arrest you. Okay, so so you're you're threatening to arrest, and why am I being trespassed? So, because they've asked you to leave. Why? And you are refusing to leave. Why? So I'm saying, why am I being trespassed? Because we tried to fulfill your records request. We gave you all of the information available mm -hmm. to try and conclude your business. Mm -hmm. And this I agree. is an agency for children. So, I mean, at this point, you're not here for parole related matters you're not here as a family member of one of our youth and we asked you to leave to allow the other families people who may or may not come into the office to conduct their business without disruptions so we've just asked you politely to leave so and are still how, asking you politely how would i cause a disruption by your presence there by recording children which is generally not perfect important. sign and seal that lawsuit baby uh, yeah, so the, the disruption is my presence and the camera. I have a First Amendment right. I told you guys I'm doing a story. I have a First Amendment right to get all the footage I want in that public area. Inside. Yes, inside. Concept inside. Court law has well, held, they've held they've what? That we can't what record inside? Court? Absolutely. Also, <laughs> also, <and there's, laughs> You're completely uh, wrong, bro. cases that where they reaffirmed as of late that, you know, from outside you are 100% welcome to record you so, are inside as well it's it, it, i know the i know the laws you're talking about time place manner right what time is it they're open the place is in a public lobby so, so and the manner is quietly to, to recording 
Well, I'm, I mean, we're having a, we're having a conversation. I just if you're gonna if you're gonna arrest me, I need you to say, hey, leave or I'll arrest you, and then I'm gonna add you and the state to the lawsuit. So it's fine. You're personally held. Fordyce versus Seattle. Yes, you're right. Everybody has rights. The right to privacy does not count for public. You have no reasonable expectation of privacy in public places. Fordyce versus Seattle, Ninth Circuit case. You can uh, you can film in public places. It, it doesn't matter. They, they ruled. Confirmed. They ruled that you have well, no reasonable like expectation said, in not in public of you. privacy. I'm you that if you do not leave, then you will be arrested. Okay, perfect. Well, I've left, so okay. I, I came okay, out to see so, what you guys were, were talking about. I still need information in there. So you you're trespassing me. How long am I trespassed? Yeah, that's up to them. Oh, no, 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 no. I need a, I need a date because they're trespass. They're, they're well, not so allowing me to conduct business here at all. So it's beautiful. Then, uh, <laughs> go down a different route where I would have to detain you, get your name, information, and all that stuff. They just oh. would like you to leave. 207.200 doesn't say I have to get my name for that. You well, guys ask. It's a violation of 207.200, which is a violation If I don't of leave after being asked by, by, by you. Yeah. It's actually by them. I'm just right, and I have on camera response. another officer telling me, you're good, man. Go ahead. Right after he so told me all that, another officer said, you're good. Go ahead and stay. You can record. To please just stay out here and don't come and I'm, I'm, I'm out of the building. Okay. But you're wrong, and I, I look forward to seeing all you guys in about six to eight months and, and explain why you did this. When the laws are very clear, you're wrong. The, there's no Supreme Court or Ninth Circuit cases that said we can't record in public in, in public p places that are inside buildings. They have talked about public forums, but it's time, place, manner. They're open. It's a public area. That's the place. And the manner is quietly recording. I'm just speaking to myself, quietly recording. So you can't you guys are wrong in, in, in this state. You cannot just trespass people from public places. It doesn't work like that. Just you have just stopped me. Satisfied. No, no, I need a formal trespass. It's not just stay out here, we'll be satisfied. You, you, if I'm not going to be arrested, I'm not being formally trespassed, I'm going back in to, to finish my story and conducting my rights. If you guys are going to, we need to make it, it needs to be very, very clear. And, and what I'm doing right now, just so you're all aware, is I'm literally taking the qualified immunity away because I'm giving you the cases, I'm speaking to, and that's why I speak with you, to, to strip your qualified immunity. I've went over this with my lawyers. They told me exactly how to do it. I need to tell you about the Glick case, about Smith versus Cummings. I need to tell you about Fordyce versus Seattle. You can look up Katz versus U.S. That's the first case ever that talked about a reasonable expectation of privacy in public. These are public places. My tax dollars pay for this. You're trespassing me. You guys need to give me a time because you're stripping me of my right to come in here and conduct business for a place that I pay for with my tax taxes by all means do it i don't violate the law but you're going to be sorry you will be sorry when i hit your pension and all that stuff you'll be sorry and people many times people do, oh okay yeah whatever we'll see so what are we doing I how long to handle it informally but it i'm i don't like i'm not gonna be yeah case. if if i'm not gonna if i'm gonna be arrested i won't go back in if i'm gonna if i'm not gonna be arrested i need to finish my story so be okay yeah, perfect so we're asking you back to come back into our building for 24 months which is part of the nrs 20 for 207 so for two years if, i can't come to a tax paid months, building you've been told you're not welcome on the premises here then it's considered trespassing so for 24 months we would ask you not to come back into the building so are because you, we've asked you to leave. Are you requesting a formal to. trespass? Perfect. Well, I mean, under under 207.200, this is that is a formal trespass. Nothing says that I have to give you my name for a trespass. Right. No, well, unless you have reasonable to. suspicion that I'm committing a crime, then I have to well, give you my name, name but you don't. I have not crime. violated it. I've been told I can stay in here, and now I'm being told I can't, I can't stay in there. So it's not a violation, and I have this on camera. So, real simple. These things are real simple. Uh, and I'm surprised you guys don't know it, but it don't worry. Like I said, education, not confrontation. You guys will know after this. You won't be so ignorant to this law, and we'll so teach you. I promise. You clarified that you're out here. I'm asking you not to come back into the building. At this I've, I know. I've heard you, bro. You don't have to repeat yourself, and it's under threat of arrest. So Typically, I would just let you arrest me, and it, and it just allows a little bit more money for the lawsuit. But so I got shit to do like today. But resolved. maybe... Maybe another day soon. Hopefully you'll come back. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe not. We'll see. I'll talk to my lawyer about it. And then I'll just bring another person who's not trespassed from here to document the arrest and all that stuff. It just helps out. So.
All right. Well, thanks for violating my rights and being a tyrant today. I appreciate you guys. You 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 actually took an oath, and as a matter of fact, all you guys, because you're all peace officers, took an oath to protect my constitutional rights. But instead, today you're violating my constitutional rights. How does that make you feel? Well, I'm not violating your constitutional rights. You are. You're 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 not allowing me to record because of my First Amendment, like he just said. Because you're recording, you're not allowing me in this building for 24 months. That's a violation of my constitutional rights. But what else is it for then? Your presence here has generally been a little bit threatening. I mean, your, your attitude, mm. the pacing, a lot of the behavior has been a little bit concerning. We understand that you were really after those public records. We did our very best to satisfy that. Oh, I'm and really so after you guys to follow the, the law. Conclusion no. that you could just conclude your business and take the story outside as we had asked in there. Yeah, we don't have to. At this point, it's, we it's, what have you... to go back inside. So I think that we've kind He's of a repeater. to a resolution. So I wish you the best and have a good weekend. Oh yeah, well Just don't worry, bro. You'll away. see, you'll see and hear from me again. I promise you. This will, this will be all over. Threats. I'm trying to maintain. Some yeah, I'm just saying here, you'll see when this comes out. You're gonna see it and you're gonna hear it. It, it, it. That's what I'm trying to tell you guys. When, when, it. Yeah, you just maybe you haven't been through it. You'll see. It's, it's. You're, you're going to no, find just, out you're I'm wrong very to fast. I'm articulate to you that the stuff you're saying and doing is pretty hostile. It's pretty threatening. How is that's, it hostile? That's, again, part of the concern. I mean, you're, you're threatening people's livelihoods. You're taking a pretty... Threatening your livelihood? How? How, is, how am I threatening your livelihood? Threatening that's a reach. For the sergeant's pension, but... Well, aside, if, if he's going to violate my rights and you're going to violate my so rights, my 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 means to deal with that is through court and through lawsuits. That's is. my means to deal with that. I'm not threatening your livelihood. Do your job right and you guys don't lose your livelihood. But when you violate somebody's rights, of course you should. He doesn't deserve to wear the uniform if he's going to act like that. And neither do you and neither do you if you're if you're this backing it resolved. up. So, again, have a good weekend. Oh, I, well, I don't know why you're still here if it's resolved. Stay out so, of the no, no, no. You demanded and you trespassed me. Let's be very yes. clear. You're not asking. You've stripped my right to do business in there, including my First Amendment right. Let's just be clear. So it's yes, not a request. We have trespassed you from the building. Awesome. Perfect. Idiots. Bunch you of idiots. Well, I said I don't, I don't, I don't break the law, but I might come back at a later date with a cameraman to document. We, you never know. Like I said, if you're, you guys are going to arrest me and they're going to trespass me, I might just take the arrest. Today, I'm not going to. But it's possible that I do come take the arrest and, it, and I have to speak to my lawyer. If I have enough right now, then maybe I don't need to. But if I don't have enough and he says, you know, if they're going to arrest you, man, then, then you know, let them arrest you. And, and then we'll just deal with it in court because it's nonsense. Like I said, I speak to legal experts about this stuff. You are not one, and you're clearly wrong about the, the, the public forum issue. If there was a, a law saying you couldn't record in there, then, then the public forum issue would apply. There is no law. There's no ordinance, no law. Ordinances well, like wouldn't said, matter. I'm but I'm not going to debate with you. I mean, I most definitely welcome you, know, you contacting an attorney and you know, going the judicial route. Yeah, I'm, I under. I, I, yeah, but uh, just for, for welcome my or purposes, because everything I'm doing, I'm doing on their behalf. I'm just a mediator. No, 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 buddy. You're the law enforcement officer. And right now true, you're enforcing their feelings. You're not enforcing law. Well, 207-200 is the 200 clearly says that public spaces, one, it clearly says the property has to be owned by another. And it clearly says that public spaces have to be posted, no trespassing and fenced off. That's you better true. read it. It does. Yeah, look yeah, at the bottom okay. of it. But just I know for it. our purposes, you will not be entering back into the building. Is that correct? Well, I, I've answered your questions. I'm not going to, I'm not going to uh, just willfully answer your question at this point. Like I said, if they want to trespass me, I'm out of the building already today. I was almost done. There are some forms and stuff that I need to get that you guys are denying me the right to get in there. These are all things we pay for. Uh, no, 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 we're not gonna go that route. These are all things we pay for and you guys can just violate my rights. I, it's fine with me. I'm just documenting it. And like I said, we'll go the route that I need to go. No matter to me. So anyways. So this is uh, what's it, what's it again? It's, my, I don't have my good glasses Barbieri. on. Barbieri, and what was your number again? C4113. All right, Charlie 4113. Perfect. And I got him, I believe. This is perfect. So, cool.
so straight violation of my rights man this guy doesn't understand they they think they get just to trespass you from public property out here and it doesn't work like that like i said i've been here grew up here 18 years been living in fernley the last 20 and they say mike why are you you know mike why do you record mike why do you record well this is it right here because they they have no problem violating your rights and they think they don't care because they think the money is not going to come out of their pocket but it is when you strip them from their qualified immunity so it's not okay how's it going hey, i got a question so if i go to the capitol police department right where are you guys located out here uh we're not in reno we're at the state capitol so you drove all the way from there yes sir. or you were out here patrolling already well we do have officers who will work in reno but yeah today uh, gotcha so if i go to the if i go to the uh to to the capitol police department building and i'm in the lobby and you guys don't want me to record there you guys can trespass me from there as well so you're more than welcome to no, I'm asking, because, uh, can you trespass in the state capitol, so. But can you trespass me? Well, why is that different than this? This is a state building as well. Yeah, but it, it's a very different How? nature. Than, uh, well, and again, like I said, uh, I'm not going to get into... Well, I'm just asking, I'm, maybe like help that. me understand it. I'm trying to ask questions. So the services that they provide, you know, the uh, at-risk nature, the clientele and everything, they're trying to protect, you know, the kids and the people that they serve. <laughs> You know, is my assumption. Like I said, it's their building, and they have the right to. You no, know, this is not their building. Trespass. You're 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 wrong about that. This is a public building. Well, this is the public. But they're, they're still responsible for the building. Uh, yeah, but like I said, okay, cool, all good, man. So, so you you can't trespass me from the from the from the state police building, but you can well, trespass can, me if, from this if building. You, were, you know, doing something wrong. That Other than recording, right? exactly because you're cause i'm trying to show you that you're wrong i'd rather you do a good job i'd rather you protect my rights like you took an oath to do but you're refusing to do it and you know where i'm going because you know that, that that this is wrong and you're wrong but you don't want to say it because you know you're screwing yourself by saying it and i understand that but the thing is is, is when you're on the stand you're gonna have to answer these questions right and that's why i'm putting them out there for you i'd rather you think about it and do a good job i'd rather you come in and say hey man unfortunately he's in a public area there's nothing we can do we can't trespass somebody from a public area unless they can show like if i'm yelling and banging on the glass and they can't do their business then yeah i agree they can trust you can trespass somebody from public for that but for a camera like he said negative not at all and you did and so that's why i'm asking these questions okay. so, and, and was your body cam on this whole time yes sir okay for, i thought i so saw, the, saw the light there because i i went to use the bathroom so that uh i'm not going to record in there but our interaction is totally on the body cam so you had a conversation with them in there as well yeah that and was, was that on body cam protected because it was uh irrelevant to our case <laughs> yeah right <laughs> you didn't talk about this issue at all with them right now inside that's what you're saying yeah well not going to get into all of that okay we'll get well like i said we will force you to answer the questions it's fine. Yeah, fine and they'll answer them too and they're gonna have to say yeah we talked about it da, 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 and you turned your body cam off so that it's not there to protect, try to protect yourself is that correct well i haven't taken any action against you other than asking you to leave on their behalf no no no. you forced me to leave you didn't ask me i was forced remember that you didn't ask. You didn't request it. You guys told me I would be arrested if I did not leave. That's not asking somebody to leave, sir. That's forcing them to leave. So I want to be very clear about it, right? We have to be very, very clear about what happened. You guys didn't request I leave. You forced me. I don't want to leave. I have business I need to do in there. You're stopping me from doing my business for the next two years from, from doing my business in a building that I pay for, in a public area that I pay for to record public officials that i pay for and you're you're not letting me do that but like i said we will get you educated i promise you won't think that the the time place manner issue applies to this situation it doesn't unless there's a law and that's what they they've ruled so all right well we'll help you out with that well i hope you have a good rest of your day yeah likewise don't don't violate anybody else's rights today huh you're a sergeant right that's correct so do you have a supervisor where uh, can i get your card by the way so let me get his card real quick this is all relevant and pertinent to what we're doing um since he's a sergeant 
I mean, I can ask for it. As a matter of fact, let's get your supervisor here. So I'm actually in charge of my division right now. My supervisor's not in the state, so I'm as high as- So you are the supervisor. Okay, perfect. That is correct. Perfect. That's also a step that I have to take. Do you have a card? So I don't have any extra cards on me. However, uh, do you have a pen and paper and I can give you a- I don't, but you could just tell, say it. I'll have it. it. It'll be memorized right here. <laughs> so um, what information would you like? Well, I was looking for your your information on your card, your email address, the phone number, yeah, all that Yeah, so you stuff. can actually Google Nevada Capitol Police. Mm -hmm. And on our front page, you know, all the contacts are there for myself, for my chief, if you wanted to. What's you know, the, do you email, have the site? Phone numbers. I'm sorry? www. Yeah, so, you know, it's funny. I actually don't know if I were to do like a... Well, I don't blame address. you for I that. I just Google <laughs> Capitol. I mean, pretty yeah, much. Yeah, pretty much everybody just Googles it. I don't blame you for not knowing the website. But okay. Cool. And again, you're more, I mean, yeah, so I'm not drawing a case on this because we're not taking any criminal action or anything. So there won't be a case report to do. Um, so, I mean, no, it's there, fine. You have a, you have a call number, right? Can I get the call number? You have yeah. a CAD number, right? So, yes. I, I'll need that. That way I can reference it and, and all the stuff. Yeah. But like I, I said, it's not over. And therefore, I just don't like people being behind me on pulling stuff up if you don't mind. Well, I'm not going to hurt you, man. <laughs> well, I, I'm nonviolent. I'm not going to move, though. The, uh, the climate. Yeah. Uh, what well, cli what I'm climate? Not turn my back to pull up the case well, number. call on the radio then and ask for the number. I need the number, you know, one way or another. Oh. Can I get the? I don't. That's case? that's what I don't understand. Why are officers so scared of everybody? Two, three, William. Zero seven nine zero two six. All right, two three W zero two oh, three perfect. W zero seven nine. Ah, fuck, I got it. I got it on film. I can't remember it. My memory shot. I don't do well with names either. That's why I had to ask you your name like three times. I still don't even remember your name. So, okay. Right, so sir. we have the call number, and uh, this officer violated my rights we need to teach them a lesson and we will it's just you got to do it legally you don't do it illegally um and we will we will get him taught because you know he he, he can't go around just violating everybody's rights i'm not i'm totally i'm narrating man you're free to leave i'm not all detaining right. you or anything i got a quick question uh do you have anything illegal on you at all i do not do you mind if i search you and and check uh, yeah i do uh, i'm not gonna get searched you're invoking your fourth amendment right something like that what about your vehicle anything illegal in there uh, can i search it no, why not because i'm not giving you permission all right it seems suspicious sir yeah well do you have a reasonable articulable suspicious suspicion that i've committed a crime and that there's a anyway you're welcome to i do a search warrant i do have that you just you just committed a crime by violating my rights so i have ras about you violating my rights so that way <laughs> there's a that could have been yeah you yeah, never it, it, so. I'm, i'll do one that i hear a lot from officers it could be many things man yeah. well, <laughs> sounds a little ridiculous right, all right. just remember that uh, like i said I'm, I'm about education not confrontation you deal with people every day i think some of you guys have this inclination that you guys are bosses and 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 really and masters good. And I think that unless somebody's violating the crime, you know, you have reasonable suspicion, which I really don't even believe in reasonable suspicion. The Terry case to me is BS. It should have never happened. I believe in probable cause. That's a higher standard. And I think that's what it should be left at. That's what the Fourth Amendment says. It says nothing about reasonable suspicion. But anyways, unless you have reasonable suspicion of a crime, you guys don't have authority over people. And that's kind of why I started doing that with you, because you probably felt a little uncomfortable. And I just want you to maybe think about that later when you're dealing with other people. You know what I mean? People aren't always suspicious. You're, you make them uncomfortable just like I just made you uncomfortable probably. Right? That's it, man. Well, when I try to be polite, you know? I'm not saying you, you didn't. Know, you've got a pleasant, you know, discussion. I don't think anything Yeah, I mean, bad. This, is how, this is how I always am unless somebody's, you know, just being a p But, like, you were calm, so I was calm. Yeah, I you appreciate know? that. But uh, yeah, I just I just match the energy. But I'm just saying, think about it, because it, it happens a lot. And and uh, officers are you guys, unfortunately, they like you to be ignorant. And I know what you were doing 
not wanting to speak about the law. I was actually out here speaking about it on my camera because the more ignorant you are to the law, the more you can hide behind your qualified immunity. We're actually pushing to get rid of qualified immunity and we're already successful in that in New Mexico. Um, and we will be successful with it countrywide. You guys should not be able to hide behind qualified immunity, but that's why I kept going with the laws with you because at that point you should have looked into them and researched them. And if you didn't, it just helps to strip away the qualified immunity. So I know what you were doing and I know you know what I was doing. And so I was just making my case the same in the, that you were trying to keep the case away. So you unfortunately made a decision and we'll deal with it later, but it wasn't a right one, man. You enforced these people's feelings. He clearly said it in front of you and, and you violated my rights. You shouldn't feel good about that. Well, it's not a matter of feeling good or anything. I mean, nothing is personal by, by any means. I do invite you to, you know, to pursue it through the judicial system. You know what I mean? Because I think we have a difference of uh, interpretation of the law. You know, so by, by all means, I definitely welcome that opportunity well, to have greater legal minds than myself. Yeah, I mean, what? so your interpretation is that somebody can be trespassed from public places for any reason. This, if the public, say I go to City Hall right now and they don't want me there, you, you, not you because you're state police, but an officer can just trespass me from City Hall and say that I can't come access a building I pay. Is that your interpretation? Because that's, that's what it happened. And I'm just trying to, I'm, that's why I'm trying to tell you, like, that's not it. That's not the interpretation of the law. If you look up 207.200, it literally says the owner of the building or occupant. It's very clear that the building has to be privately owned because this is the owner of the building here is the people, right? And, the, that, and that's not entirely true. But like, like I said, I mean, I definitely. Well, how is it not true? Well, because they're they're an occupant, they pay a lease fee, like they're responsible for the building, you know. And again, like I said, you know, I mean, I'm not going to get into a full blown you know discussion with you on the matter, 